Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're looking at the all new 2018 Chevy 3500 and this one has the bad boy engine in it. That's right, the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, but let's just get right into the video. Starting under the hood, we have that 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8 that puts out 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque and that goes through the Allison transmission which is a six-speed automatic transmission. We finish up front we can see that kind of like more square looking front end that Chevy is now famous for and what this one actually has is this nice big hood scoop which makes it look a lot sportier and everything and it just gives it a very aggressive look overall in the front. Now coming around back, the first thing you're going to notice is that massive exhaust pipe for the diesel engine. You're still going to get those parking sensors in the rear and the backup camera right here. And then the bed that unlocks and locks for the truck. And I just love how that bed falls down slowly. And this one does have the optional bed liner that you can get. And then you do have a little hole for a fifth wheel gooseneck that you can get in the bed. And then that rear siding window back there. This truck is equipped with remote start, so you just got to lock it, hold the remote start button, and we'll listen to that bad boys start right up which if you notice it's actually pretty quiet coming around back if we look at the back here we can see this nice leather trim with the wood trim as well you can see these nice leather seats with the white contrast stitching you got USB ports back there a little 12 volt and just like in the 2500, these seats do fold up, but you do get these little cubbies in this specific trim. And this is a high country, so you can have even more storage and kind of make everything into little compartments and everything. And if, if you can see as well, leg room and everything's plentiful back here. Go up front, it's just a traditional lock and unlock. There's no keyless entry. It does have the Bose sound system. You're gonna get all your window controls and everything, your mirror controls and all that, the window locks. You got your light controls here, the shifter for the different drive modes, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four-wheel low, your trailer brake controls and all that. And then you do get your seat controls down there. But we will step in and step in heights really high. Um, like I've said in pretty much every other truck, I'd recommend getting side steps. But to start up the Duramax, you just gotta put the key in here and then twist it. And obviously this truck's already warmed up, so it doesn't need the diesel preheat. But obviously you do the normal diesel preheat function and then you just start it right up. You're gonna get your cruise control buttons right here. It's got the, if you look here, the Ford collision warning, heated steering wheel. You can hear OnStar over there, actually. But you got all your voice commands and everything in the little panel to scroll through the middle here for all the information on the vehicle that you'd ever want to have. You got your speedometer over there. You got your tachometer over there. And then you do have that big touch screen in the middle, which gives you all the function and everything that, anything that you could ever want to use. Your volume controls, your menu control, dual zone climate. Does have those heated seats where you can just have the heating on the top and the bottom or just the top. Air conditioned seats as well on this one. Your, like I said, all your climate controls down there. And then over here, your memory pedals, electronic stability control, cab light, parking sensors. You got your lane departure assist, and then you got your exhaust brake because this one is a diesel. Still got that nice dual glove box in here. And then that nice leather trim and everything all throughout. Come with an optional sunroof, which is really nice and all that. And then you got your OnStar controls and everything. And then if we put the truck in reverse, so put it over into reverse, pop up with that nice backup camera that has all the trajectory lines so that it can help you go up to a trailer or anything like that and make it backing up and everything a lot easier. set off in the all new 2018 Chevy 3500 and like I said this is the high country trim so it's the more luxury variant it's got like all the leather trim on the dash leather steering wheel leather seats and everything it's really nice um, really good quality stuff in here and this one is the diesel engine um, like I said in that video on the 2500 
you can get a six liter gas engine that has 365 horsepower and about 380 pound feet of torque. But this is the engine that everyone talks about with the Chevys. This is the transmission that everyone talks about with the Chevys, that Duramax paired with the Allison. And it's just because it's so powerful. And the other thing is that this is engine and transmission option, are they're so reliable as well. Um, people have been talking about it for years, about the reliability of both the transmission and the engine. And it's something that's not very common with uh, truck brands necessarily. They either have a good engine or transmission, not both. And Chevy's done a wonderful thing having, you know, both their engine and transmission be very reliable. If we're going to talk about a truck, we're going to be talking about ride quality. And ride quality on this truck is going to be a, quite a bit bumpier than on that 2500 that I drove. And so it's not nearly as smooth, but, you know, what you're giving up in ride quality, you are getting in the actual capacity of the payload because this is a one ton. So it's going to have a higher payload than the 2500. So you definitely do benefit from that stiffer ride quality by getting a bigger payload. So if you have heavier trailers or need to haul a lot more stuff, then this truck's going to be a better fit for you. Interior material wise, it's all really nice. There's a ton of features in it and everything. It's all, everything's really nice to touch. There's a lot of, you know, padding and everything. The wood trim definitely makes it feel a lot more luxurious and everything. And there's just so much storage space everywhere. I mean, this huge, I mean, it's got this huge console and everything and you got this, you got more storage space down there and everything. So it's definitely a very usable truck and you've got so much space, which is something that's really nice. And what I love about trucks, they just have all this storage space everywhere. Back onto that engine, sound-wise, it actually sounds really good. Obviously, it sounds like a diesel, but it's not loud at all. Um, it's actually surprisingly pretty quiet, to be completely honest, which really surprises me because most diesel engines are a little bit louder, but, I mean, this engine is super quiet and everything, so it definitely makes this truck feel a bit more luxurious because you don't just have that diesel rumbling in it while you're driving. Just over, you know what I mean? You don't have a big diesel rumble when you're driving, so it makes it a lot more comfortable and a lot more compliant and everything to drive and all that. So we're about to get in the interstate here. Just getting this up to highway speeds to see how it drives there. And so, you know, obviously test out that, you know, 900 pound feet of torque. Because I do imagine this truck is going to be pretty quick with as much torque and as much power as it has. But we can do a little bit of an acceleration here. And I mean, you just you just absolutely just ride on this surge of torque and it just keeps you moving and moving and moving and I mean I barely went over 2,000 rpms there and the truck just kind of it moves and it's just amazing how powerful this truck is. To wrap things up what I'm going to say overall impression wise on this and everything is that if like I said, if you need that higher payload capacity, then you know definitely go for the one ton over the three quarter ton because it's going to give you more payload. And if you need to tow more, then you know the, the Duramax is going to be the route to go if you if you need that higher towing capacity. Um, I believe if you get this in a dually configuration with the 3500, then you actually are able to tow um, up to, it's, it's like somewhere around 30,000 pounds, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And so this is definitely the truck to go for if towing is a necessity for you. But if not, then, you know, go for that 6.0 gas motor and, you know, save the money over the diesel engine. But but yeah, it's a it's an absolutely fantastic truck to go for. And I would, I would, def I would highly recommend this, um, you know, keep this truck in mind when you're, you know, choosing which, you know, heavy duty one ton that, you're uh, planning on getting. And there we have it, everyone. The all new 2018 Chevy 3500. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Please comment down below what you thought. And I will see all of you in that next video.